Yo, what's up, third graders? Today's lesson, we're talking about subtracting when unbundling is needed. All right, let's see what we're talking about here. All right, to unbundle something means to break it apart into 10 of its smaller place values. So if I have 100, I could break it into 10 tens. Likewise, if I have a 10, I could take it and break it into 10 ones. So let's see how that applies to subtraction. First problem, 234 minus 116. So we're gonna make 234, and we're gonna start with our ones place that's asking us to take six away, but we only have four of them. So we're gonna take or borrow from one of our tens and unbundle it into 10 ones. Now we have enough. So we have enough to take away six ones. So take six away. Now we can take away one 10. And we take away 100. And we're left with 100, 110, and eight ones. So our answer is 118. Let's take a look at what that would look like doing the vertical written method. So make sure we line up by place values. Start with the ones. We see we have four minus six. Now four is not enough, so we have to borrow from our tens, take one away, and add 10 to our ones, which gives us 14. Now we can subtract. 14 minus six is eight. Two minus one is one. And two minus one, again, gives us 118. The key here is, is that whenever you have to borrow, you borrow one from the place value to the left, and it becomes 10 in the place value to the right. 531 minus 89. So again, we start by building 531. Starting with our ones place, we see we have to take away nine. But we only have one here. So again, we're gonna borrow one of our tens, or we're gonna take one of our tens and turn it into 10 ones. Now we can take away nine ones. Next, we have to take away eight tens, but we only have two tens. So we take, borrow 100 or take 100 and unbundle it into 10 tens. Now we can take away eight of them. There's no hundreds to take away, so now we have our answer. We have 400, four tens, which is 40, two ones. So our answer is 442. Let's look at what that would look like with the written method. So again, 531 minus 89. Make sure you line up your ones and tens correctly. We can't do one minus nine, so we have to borrow from our tens, borrow one of them, and add 10 to our ones, which gives us 11. Now we can subtract. 11 minus nine is two. So we move into our tens columns, we see we have two minus eight. Well, we can't do that, so we have to borrow one of our hundreds, Break it into 10 tens, which gives us 12 tens now. So 12 minus eight is four. And we just bring down our 400. So again, the key when doing the written method is whenever the top number is smaller than the bottom number, borrow one from the place value to the left and unbundle it into 10 of the place value where you need it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Did using Powtoon.